everyone, I'm Tony Gale, <laughs> and today I have a word from the Lord again, and that word is, let me see, it's, um, stop sign, stop sign, he just kept saying stop sign to me today, and he said to me, there's another word that he said to me, oh Lord, remind me of that word, it is, um, who knows? Yes, the killer. Who knows? So let's begin with who knows. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will lead me to the stop sign. Because I don't know. So, you know, many of you, you're just like, who knows what's happening in my life right now? Who knows if things will work out? Who knows where this road will take me? This road that I'm walking with the Lord. But the Lord is saying today, I know. The Lord knows. You know, I was saying that, you know, about something, about some journey, about some new thing that I wanted to do. And I was like, who knows how this is going to work out? And the Lord was like, God knows. God knows because you're just there worried. Who knows? But if the Lord is with you, you don't need to worry. We don't need to worry. You know, sometimes it gets, it gets hard, you know, being... You know, someone who's dedicated their life to God because, you know, there are people who, you know, we're in the world. There are people in the world who will constantly say, there are songs that will constantly say, you know, you should be this certain way. You should be hateful. You should, uh, people can be trusted, da 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 You know, and truly, I don't believe that you should give your trust to anyone until, you know, they have proven that they're trustworthy. But, like, there are many people who just promote a whole lot of you know, stuff that we as child of God, we we can't, you know, be, live by. So it's like, you know, sometimes it gets hard. So we need, even not as the body of Christ, we need to motivate each other. And I'm like, it's really sad. Some of us in the body of Christ, all we do is compare and just like, I don't know. It's like some of us, we just want to pray, seek praise for, for ourselves. Which is ridiculous, like I always say, it's ridiculous because we're all just vessels and we need to just help each other to get into heaven. That's about it. So it's like, um, the Lord is saying, He knows. You might not know. There are things that you can't see, but He can see. There are things that you don't know, but He knows. And He's asking us to trust Him completely while you don't know. I mean, what kind of faith is, would it be if you could see everything? I mean, if you could see everything, then you, you're, you would, it, would be, it would be easy for you to trust the Lord, you know. Many of you, you're just like at the stop sign now and the Lord is saying, don't move, don't move, you know. But many of you, you see other people who are going because the Lord has told them to go. But what you need to understand is that many of us, many of us where situations are different, you know, our situations are so different. So it's really not good for us to judge other people. Like perhaps it's someone else's time now. But a lot is saying your time is coming. Be patient. Wait. You know, it's just like, you know, when you have to go to college, right? It's just like going to college and you know you have another year to, you know, get that degree. And it's like you don't want to. You don't want to stay in college. But you know you want a degree. It's the same thing for whatever you're praying for. The Lord is saying it's time for you to wait because he doesn't want you. You know, what if it's something, you know, it's, it's a grand thing. You know, and you're not prepared. You're not prepared to handle that thing. You wouldn't want to get it before time and then you just kind of ruin it. Ruin it and then you'll have to wait again, you know, even longer. So it's best to really wait on the Lord. He knows best. I surely don't want anything that, you know, isn't ready or I'm not ready for that thing. I don't want to, you know, it comes, there comes a time in your life where you need to just hand over and completely surrender to God. It doesn't mean that you stop living. I mean, you are, we are with God every day, you know. Life is amazing. We are with God every day and there's so much we can do with Him. There's so much we can talk to Him about and there's so much to do as children of God so it's like you know don't be discouraged don't be discouraged we're at the stop sign now it's okay to be at the stop sign we're just learning we're learning and we're growing
you know so whatever at the stop sign let's rejoice and be happy for you know those who are have gotten the green light yeah you never know your your, your time maybe even tomorrow who knows you know and i got a dream some days ago i was hesitant to post about that you know i had a dream let's get right into it so i had a dream that um the lord jesus he was in a room of course he <laughs> i didn't see him as the lord in the dream but like i know that it was jesus no in the dream i didn't understand so i saw jesus in a room of course he looked like a man like a regular man but i know that it's jesus because i know the character of jesus you know he was in a room with this girl and she was like light skinned she had she was like medium weight and she was kind of tall i don't know i'm not good with descriptions but she was in a room they were in a room in a room together jesus was standing next to this woman and there was a pure light coming from this room pure light coming from this woman and like there was a man outside and jesus was like come in come in come and see come and see come and see and like he was like <laughs> pretty much you know he was so excited and like he was like kind of mocking the guy he was like come in come in come and see and he was like i don't want to see the guy outside was like i don't want to see i don't want to see it i don't want to see and he was like so angry but he came in and then he looked and he saw what jesus was talking about because it was pure light coming from this woman you know many of you the lord you're there crying being sad but the lord boasts about many of you he boasts about his children you know like even job even after job was like he came to a point when he was like because everything was gone from him he lost everything and he got sick and all of that he was like you know i wish that i had died in the end the lord still called him his servant so even though you feel like oh you know i said all of these horrible things what do i do now the lord is saying he's still with me what do i do <laughs> the lord is saying he's still he's, he he loves you all he loves me he loves you and he boasts about you he boasts about us he boasts about his children who has been standing firm praying in the ocean praying when everything is burning literally you're there praying when everything is you know being destroyed in your life people are going people are going <laughs> but like you know many of us are still like praying or trusting god many of us we see our friends going there and there and there you know but we're still praying we have the spirit of god with us we are protected we are covered by god and like that's just a beautiful thing it's just such a beautiful thing so yeah that is my message for today just rejoice keep praising your god keep motivating yourself you know there are times when the devil even tests you in your mind and he was and he's like you're not good enough you can't do this you won't reach there but you need to tell the devil in your mind i shall i will i have i'm there already devil because the lord is with me what are you talking about like what are you talking about like you need to you need to be ferocious you need to be angry you need to protect your peace you need to war for your peace yeah <laughs> it's like that and, he, and anyone who comes to you talking all type of stuff that you know doesn't match what the lord has tell you you need to war you need to be honest you need to put your full armor on oh sweet jesus i feel the spirit of god it's hard to i feel the spirit of god wow i feel the spirit of god this is really for someone i pray oh heavenly father that you touch each and every one of us who is down this morning and lift up us lift us up by your holy ghost let your holy ghost be with everyone let your holy ghost be with everyone who is watching let your holy ghost be with us all in jesus name i pray amen